we are 100% retro. And if you start bringing in modern machines, you start not being 100% retro. And that's why we differ from everybody else. We are proud to say that we are London's only retro gaming store. And we're also proud to say that we're own London's only retro gaming bar. We opened this place basically because we were looking for um, somewhere that was a social space for gamers. When you walk into the bar and you, you see two pinball machines on your left and then you see a cocktail table with Donkey Kong on there and then you move in you start seeing Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Sega Rally, Point Blank. They're all the games of the 80s and 90s and that's what all we're interested in is showing people that's what it was like in the good old days. Being of a certain age to start with, obviously, um, I mean, I'm, I'm from a seaside town from near Whitley Bay in the northeast of England. We had arcades and I grew up around arcades and I absolutely adore just even the look of them, the, the, the aesthetic of walking into an arcade, the feel of it and the simplicity of the old games. Being nearly 50 years old, I was there at the, the dawn of of the you know the rise of the machines basically and I was addicted from that point on from the days of the spectrum right the way up to today and literally coming here one day as a customer back in July 2012 and came in bought myself a Mega Drive and that really sort of kicked me back into gear There are a lot of people who trade in, collect and enjoy retro arcades and they're all in basically communities online and a lot of the machines change hands among similar people. Well the shop's been here since June 2012 uh, and I believe Joe and Tom who own the company, uh, they had it a year before that but that was an online store. Um, it's really been fundamentally important to us to make sure that all of the machines are actually as true to their original form as possible. So in some cases we've purchased machines which may have had emulation inside of them, so, or Smash TV when it arrived had a PC inside of it, running an emulation of Smash TV. So we stripped all of that out, found the original boards again and made it all back how it would have been originally. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a labour of love really. never come here before and I knew through Retro Game Bay so I, I bought a lot of stuff and trade a lot of stuff there because I collect a lot of retro video games and consoles. It's like we run them out there, a few flyers out at Retro Game Base about there wanting to do like a fundraiser Kickstarter to get this place going and uh, yeah all of a sudden it was here like out of nowhere and they're selling craft beer and ads retro video games. There was a girl who kept coming here bringing guys on Tinder dates and just I mean just all sorts, you know, and we've, we've got no set demographic. I think we get a surprising amount of people through the door who would not necessarily be fans of retro gaming. And one of the things that really pleases me about this place is, for example, we get a group of girls come in, maybe they don't want to play any games, they have a drink or two, then they say, oh, you know what, we'll try. And then sort of 30 minutes later, they're screaming and whooping around whilst playing Pac-Man and getting chased by the ghosts. It's, um, you know, it's really nice to see that these old games can transcend all abilities, genders, and any sort of stereotyping of games. I think they were made to be played in a social scenario. I'm either really good at it or really, really rubbish. I seem to, I seem to either get high scores on Pac-Man or I just like dead straight away. But actually, I've never played it before until I came here. Like, so I kind of discovered that I quite enjoy it. Possibly people like myself who aren't generally into gaming, but can come in and kind of experience something from our past. Like even if I'm not into gaming, I remember some of these games from my brothers or from playing at friends' houses or you know hanging out in uh, local arcades. 
House of the Dead, I always like playing, which is really silly because um, we own it at home, we have it at home, and, and we did the same thing like when we went on holiday once to Swanage, and, uh, and we just ended up finding an arcade and just paying to play House of the Dead, and we do the same when we come here, we own the game at home, but we pay to play it here. <laughs> Current multiplayer game focus, um, it's a very sort of disjointed and disparate um, experience to be playing online constantly. I think you, you play against people all of the time, you rarely see who you're playing against. Um, and given the focus that gaming has on multiplayer, it was really nice to be able to bring it back to the old style of multiplayer and actually have people standing side by side in an arcade setting and, and challenging each other.